has he done for us? He was crucified for and with us. He died for us. We died with him. He was buried for and with us. He was resurrected for and with us. And he ascended to the throne for us and with us. And on the day of Pentecost, God gave Jesus the Holy Ghost. And he received the Holy Spirit. And he poured out the Holy Spirit. And there were 120 disciples in the upper room. And um, they were waiting on the Lord. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were in one place. God always works with one place. God always works with unity, one accord. One place, one accord. That means the location was right and the heart was right. Those are two important places that God works with you. Your location where he's placed you and your heart that he cleansed for that location. And there came a sound as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled the room where they were sitting and they appeared unto them cloven tongues as of fire. And it sat upon each one of them. That means that fire was bigger than them. And then they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And they began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. I see the fire of God on your spirit in the name of Jesus. I see the fire of God burning every dross out. I see in a sense uh, that your shoes are um, removed from your heart in the name of Jesus. That means your journey is no more part of your heart in the name of Jesus. Your disappointments are no more part of your heart. The hurt is no more part of your heart. You are caught up with the holiness of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He has he is holy and he's made you holy by his Holy Spirit. He's cleansed you. He's, he's burned the dross out in the name of Jesus. And your heart, even though it was a stable, is now the throne room of Jesus. Hallelujah. He is a specialist in cleaning out stables and making it heavenly thrones that he can dwell there in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. There are two parts to the salvation. There is your personal salvation in your walk with God. God is working in you personally. And you're born again for yourself. And you, God has designed this, that this thing works for you personally. You know, you can help other people, but somewhere along the line, the hitchhiker's got to get their own cars. You can pray for somebody, but somewhere along the line, you must learn to pray for yourself. You can help somebody, you'll only give them be able to feed them for a day. But if you teach them to fish, you'll feed them for a lifetime. You must be filled and start speaking for yourself. And you must understand how to get refilled. Because you can empty out. And you've got to worship the Lord in your privacy. And learn how to receive from God. Many people don't know how to receive from God. And you've got to get skilled in that surrender and giving your heart to God. So you can receive, and you receive the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. The second part of salvation is that God fits you into the body of Christ. And so there's your individual salvation, but there is your corporate walk with God. And your corporate walk with God has to do with the family of God. Uh, however, because we are not perfect... And we are all a work of God in progress. There is no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. And uh, God is merciful to us. And we will be merciful to one another. And so when we start relating to one another, we get affected like we being rubbed with rough sandpaper. And sometimes it's painful. Sometimes it's disappointing. And sometimes trust gets broken. 
And I think there's nothing as painful as trust in a relationship when it's broken. But it doesn't matter how messed up it is. God is a specialist in taking the broken pieces of your life and making something beautiful out of your life. Trust can be built again. Your life can be restored again. I'm told that a broken limb, when it's properly healed, it's twice as strong as it was before it broke. Restoration always does it for you much more than you had before. Because Jesus restores us much more than Adam had. Adam was a created son of God. We're now born again in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Job was restored double for all his trouble. I speak double restoration on each one of you. Whatever the devil robbed from your families, I declare and, declare and decree it's double, double, double. It's got to, I speak to the powers of darkness, to principalities and powers. Whatever he robbed from you, the generational blessing, your grandfather and grandmother's wealth, your father and your father and your mother's wealth, whatever you lost in the name of Jesus as a messenger of court under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I serve the kingdom of God with a decree and I say, release it double for all your trouble. It's getting better. It's getting better every day, in every way, in everything, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You'll never be the same again, and it's not a cliche. Your marriage is getting better. Your health is getting better. Your business is getting better. Your relationships are getting better. Your money is getting better. Everything is getting better. It's better, better, better every day in every way in Jesus name hallelujah